It looks like we may not ever see Zabit Magomed Sharapov fighting in the octagon again. As I reported in my last video, his coach Mansoor Uchikaev mentioned that Zabit would probably not be returning due to a loss of interest in MMA and found an easier way to make money. Mansoor in summary said Zabit was not only a great fighter but also a great businessman. Well, Ariel Hawani also reported on the MMA Hour. From what I was told, he had almost like this moral religious dilemma that he was dealing with. He's very religious and I think he reached the point where he just didn't want to do it anymore. Now his brother fights and he corners his brother, which I think is very interesting but obviously everyone is different. According to Sportskita, Zabit seems to have moved on from hurting people to healing people as he's embarked on a career in medicine. He posted a picture of himself inside a Doctors of the World office with a caption that read, the medical world of Mahachkala will soon have a new name. Doctors of the World is a humanitarian organization that provides medical care to vulnerable people across the world. The organization focuses on armed conflicts, harm reduction, maternal and child health and migrant populations. Much hasn't been heard of Hamza Chimaev after his narrow victory over Gilbert Burns at UFC 273. In a recent interview posted by Hustle MMA, Hamza revealed that his coach was still upset with his performance weeks later. He also spoke on whether Darren Till played a role in that poor performance like many fans speculated. Hamza said, Yeah, my coach was and still is upset. Every time I see him, he tells me what I should have done. I listen to his lectures for like an hour every time, but he's like a second father to me. He helps me in training and life, and Darren is no bad influence. It's all good. How could he be if he helped me with the training camp? Nothing changed. I just messed up in the fight and that's it. That's the only reason. I was emotional. To be honest, it was a good lesson and I'm happy with the outcome. They were saying that I've never been through three rounds and now they say I couldn't finish the fight. You can't please everyone. I will stay true to myself and make money and keep my family happy. Jan Blachowicz hasn't been seen in the octagon since losing his belt to Glover Teixeira in October of last year. He was scheduled to fight Alexander Rakic March 26th, but was forced to delay his bout to May 14th due to a scary injury that paralyzed the left side of his body. Jan told MMA Fighting, I woke up and I felt a pain in my neck. I thought maybe I just slept bad and that's why I felt the pain. In the gym, we did some drills and I took one shot on my guard. I felt a really hard pain in my neck and I couldn't feel my left hand and left side of my body. It was completely off, paralyzed. Then I thought, that's not a normal pain. It's something worse. I go to the doctor, we do an MRI, and I have a disc in my neck that put pressure on my nerve. That's why I had this feeling that I could not feel my left side. It was scary. You don't know what happened. You can't move your left hand. It was a weird feeling for me. A new thing. A scary thing. They gave me some medicine and put some in my neck. I could train like that, but only light technique. No sparring sessions. Nothing hard. Just pads, bags, bikes, and running. Four weeks of easy training, and after four weeks of rehabilitation, I was back at the gym doing sparring sessions and everything at 100%. Now I'm healthy. I don't feel pain. I feel good. Jorge Masvidal has officially been given a stay away order from Kobe Covington after sucker punching him outside of Pappy's Steakhouse in Florida. If you're not up to date, click on the link at the top right to see the video covering the incident. Well, according to MMA Fighting, Masvidal must stay 25 feet away from Covington in all public places, or any vehicle the former interim champion may be traveling in, and 500 feet from Covington's home. In addition, Masvidal may not contact Covington via phone, texting, social media, emails, or any other form of communication, or indirectly through a third party. Masvidal Masvidal's defense team was fine with the order, but wanted to make sure it wasn't an egregious one. For example, if Masvidal was attending a UFC event or Covington, that both could be allowed to stay as long as they are kept at a certain distance. Judge James granted the order with terms that he explained to Masvidal. In addition to the stay away order, Masvidal is facing a felony criminal mischief charge after Covington told police that $15,000 worth of damage was done to a $90,000 Rolex that he wore during the incident in a more serious charge of aggravated battery, which according to the document states Masvidal struck Covington with the deadly weapon that caused great bodily injury, which is now documented as a brain injury. And while Covington's name wasn't to be publicly disclosed due to Marcy's law, the judge Zachary James referred to Kobe as CC during the entire process. Well, Masvidal took one last jab at Covington and indirectly made sure that his identity was made known by asking the judge, just to be clear, CC is Kobe Covington. The judge replied, correct. And Masvidal replied, got it. Alexander Volkanovsky had a dominant performance versus the Korean Zombie at UFC just this past month. So much so that the UFC updated their pound for pound rankings and have now placed him as number two just behind Kamara Usman and in front of Israel Adesanya who now occupies the number three spot. And finally, Rob Font was the only fighter not to make weight for this weekend's event versus Cheeto Vera. Rob weighed in at 138 pounds, missing weight by two and a half pounds and will be fined 20% of his purse. As always guys, if you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button for me. If you're new, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date. Thanks for watching.